yet the for-profit carbon credit industry has been criticized and exposed for being a commercial scam, with certain programs causing serious harm. Our investigation into one of the world's most celebrated carbon offsetting projects in Kenya, known as the Kasigao Corridor Red Plus Project, uncovered widespread sexual harassment and abuse. One day while on duty at one of the camps, he got into the office and started touching my body including private parts. Run by Wildlife Works, based in the United States, they take pride in the social, environmental and ethical impacts of the project, but having talked with over 20 current and former employees, we found systemic sexual harassment and abuse of female workers by senior staff. I live in fear and not at peace for fear of losing my job. I feel very disrespected and unfair for a senior officer to take advantage of his junior staff harassing them sexually. The abuse is not limited to female employees of Wildlife Works. We also talked to women who lived in the villages surrounding this famous project. We were three ladies and we went to fetch firewood. And then we met with wildlife rangers. They stopped us and they took the firewood from us and they burnt it completely. They commanded us to kneel on hard ground. The women spoke about how the rangers of Wildlife Works not only humiliate, but also harass them. They kept on abusing us. One of them even said to us, I can remove my panty and you sodomize me. I felt very bad and embarrassed by these rangers. We have nowhere to go. What's shocking is that many auditing firms continue to give this project a green light. On top of that, there's a major due diligence failure on the part of multinationals like Netflix, McKinsey and Microsoft, who purchase credits from this project to offset their carbon emissions. The evidence is there. Commercial carbon offsetting is a deeply problematic and false solution to the climate crisis, and it's leading to serious human rights abuses. It's time to stop wasting resources on exploitative programs that won't solve the climate crisis.